Good morning, everybody. It is June 19th, uh, 2023 it is Monday, and I'm gonna do the Monday lot walk here for Summit, show some of our incoming trade-ins and uh, buys from the weekend that just arrived. I apologize, I didn't get it last week, uh, just kind of busy. This week's gonna be just as busy. I got my assistant off this week, so uh, gotta do a lot of stuff on my own here. Uh, we'll start with the lot walk, though. And as always, remember to like, subscribe, and share. And all these vehicles are going to be linked in the description below. So uh, click those and check out all the options and everything. We'll get a, everything uh, descripted by the end of the day here. So uh, let's get started. First off, uh, we got a 2021 Chevy Suburban High Country in trade. This one's got 31,000 miles. Really nice, clean condition on it. Um, I think they bought a... Chrysler Pacifica if I'm not mistaken but it's got the dual rear exhaust and everything <laughs> really a cool looking Suburban I don't know if I've ever seen a high country Suburban and then we got a 2017 Chevy Corvette Z06 this is a stick shift this thing is just about perfect really nice and clean all the way around it only has 12,000 miles I think the color on this one is torch red uh, really a good looking Corvette and in really nice condition this will go fast almost all of our z06 stick shift cars go extremely fast uh, this is a looks like a 2016 f-250 i don't even have keys on this one it's unlocked though and uh, it has 29,000 miles on it look how clean that interior is um, i'm pretty sure we bought this one so i'll have to figure out where the keys are uh, just an xl regular cab long box but uh, probably the 62 v8 Either way, it'll be linked in the description. And then we have a 2000, and I want to say 20, Chevy 3500. This is a, tw I'm sorry, 2022 Chevy 3500 High Country. It's all loaded up, has the Duramax diesel and uh, the 10 speed Allison transmission. This one has 16,000 miles on it. Looks like it's in really nice condition. Obviously, a little dirty. We got to get it detailed and everything. And, uh, but that'll be a very nice truck as well. This is a truck we're currently working on. It's gonna be in line for buffs pretty soon here. Um, it's a Platinum. This one didn't come in. We've had it for a little bit. We've been just been working on it. Uh, this is a Chrysler Pacifica. Uh, my salespeople did not put any information in it, so I really don't know much about it. Uh, looks like a newer one, maybe a 19 or a 20. Anyways, we can check out the miles because I do have the door open here. 41,000 miles on it, and this is a 2020 Pacifica. Has the S appearance package. Looks like it's a Touring L in billet silver. This is an F-150 crew cab that we just got in. This is a trade-in. And once again, my salespeople really didn't write anything on the paperwork. Uh, let's see if the key fob, this one has 98,000 miles on it. So this is a limited, comes with a special interior. And I believe these are numbered. This was number 1250. So that's pretty cool. Um, really like these interiors. I've never had a limited on this lot. Uh, and this is a 2017. So this will be a hot truck. I'm sure it's in really nice shape from just walking around it here and then I've got a 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee this is a limited 80th anniversary package and that's in really nice shape and this one has I think 23,000 miles on it this is a trade-in I don't even know if we're gonna keep it it's obviously got some damage to the box and the door um, pretty sure and the front fender and the bumper this is probably gonna be a wholesale vehicle to Duramax I just can't believe people buy stuff like this and then just beat it yeah we're probably not gonna keep this anyways the other cool thing that we just got in uh, these came in last week and we just uh, pictured them today I'm gonna have videos up on this Sahara later today this is the all-new well not all-new but the mid-year refresh mid-model refresh so they changed the grill they also uh, changed the windshield it's got a antenna in it now notice there's no antenna on here and they changed the interior a little bit 
as well as a new screen in there. There will be a full walk around on this guy in just a little bit. This is a power wagon I did the other day for videos. Uh, that's all done. This is a brand new Bighorn and this is an F-150 that I did on Saturday for the videos, but they're all done. Anyways, thanks so much for checking out the video. We do have a lot more inventory that came in last week that you probably didn't see. We got a Tremor right there. Now these aren't gonna be listed in the in the description below, but we got a Tremor. They're all on our website. We've got a Tremor, a Chevy 1500. I've got an EcoBoost Mustang. I've got a GT Mustang. Uh, got a Wrangler, or that's a Gladiator, my bad. And then we got this uh, nice Chevy Tahoe in. That one's sold. I got this Overland in. It's got like 90,000 miles, or not Overland, uh, altitude, I should say. It's got like 90,000 miles. We got this really nice 2500. Uh, crew cab in as well. I think that's a 2021 and uh, We got this Colorado through the shop uh, That was in last week's walk around and we got that Chevy uh, ZL1 convertible there So a lot of really cool stuff go check us out summitauto.com. Thanks for checking out the video Remember to like subscribe and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it